the Zam data tree control, part of the Infogistics Net Advantage Silverlight line of business control set, allows you to have a tree which can be used for navigation, file system browsing, or pretty much any other scenario where you can think of to organize and display data. This example illustrates how you can use Zam data tree within your MVVM applications. The user control that hosts the Zam data tree has its data context set to the view model. The view model itself contains a property called books, which essentially is an observable collection of book objects. So setting the actual Zam data trees item source property to the books property, the nodes are automatically created at runtime based on whatever objects exist within the books collection. And in this example, we see we have two levels of data. So each one is the book series with all the related books underneath. You could also bind Zam data tree to an I enumerable. So in this example, an XML file was queried using link and a hierarchical list of items was returned and set as the item source. Zam data tree is also great with high performance scenarios. So in this example, when I click on the generate data button, a quick for each loop is executed in memory and 5,000 parent nodes are created and each parent node has five children. So observe how I click on the scroll bar and jump to the very bottom, jump to the top, and there's absolutely no interruption, no lag, no freezing computer. So Zam data tree is definitely great for high performance data display scenarios. Zam data tree also supports activation. So there could always be one active node at a time. So essentially, whenever I activate a node by clicking on it, that active node is programmatically assigned to a text area in this side of the application UI. Zam data tree also supports checkboxes. So by setting the checkbox property to visible, we're able to show checkboxes in front of each node. You also notice there's an enumeration that represents manual and auto. Auto essentially means that if you check a parent, all of its children will be unchecked. And if you uncheck some of the children, the parent will go into an indeterminate state. Manual essentially means that each check has to be manually set by the end user. Also notice that you can enable tri-state. When you set the enable tri-state property to false, then essentially it's just dual state where it's checked or unchecked. Tri-state, when enabled, allows you to also go into an indeterminate state. Zam data tree also supports drag and drop by setting some properties within its object model. Zam data tree's node layout property contains some sub-object properties such as the is draggable property and is drop target property. Setting them both to true essentially allows you to have drag and drop within the actual tree itself. Zam data tree also has intrinsic functionality for allowing you to edit within the nodes. So essentially, the Zam data tree dot edit settings property allows you to easily enable deletion and editing just by these simple property settings. Also notice these other property settings that allow you to have end user keyboard activation to enter edit mode and what mouse actions are necessary to enter edit mode as well. Node selection, which is similar to activation, is also supported. Single node selection means that only one node can be selected at a time. However, multiple node selection allows, that, allows you to hold the control key down 
and select multiple nodes across the actual tree structure. Now, what's the difference between activation and selection? Activation means that there can only be one active node at a time, and the last node clicked is the one that's usually active. However, selection usually alludes to having more than one item selected, where you could have zero or many items selected. You could have a combination of multiple items selected, but the last node clicked was or is the one that's active. Like all Infragistics controls, XAM Data Tree has a whole host of events that you can handle in order to achieve any type of programming logic that you require. Notice how I interact with the tree. All these various events are recorded, which in this example it's just used to illustrate that you have such a rich event structure that most any type of programming logic can be achieved through handling some of these events. The Office 2010 Blue theme is provided by Infogistics for you, created by the professionals in our visual design team. You too can implement the Office 2010 Blue theme so that your end users will feel that they're working within a familiar application. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.